This is Eric Vega with GoEngineer. In this video, we'll go through what's new in Structure Systems on the 2020 release. In 2019, SolarWorks released a new environment called Structure Systems. This new feature allows you to create large structures with weldments without the necessity of using 3D sketches or a complex variety of sketches. In 2020, multiple enhancements have been added for these features such as different end conditions for point and length members. We can now split members by using other members or certain features like planes or faces. Pattern and mirror features now retain the intelligence of structure systems, so we can add secondary members from the resulting bodies. And there are new member and corner trim enhancements. Let's take a look at how we'll use these new enhancements to create this shed structure with just two sketches, one axis, and two planes. Let's start by creating the structure system environment. Once I click the first option, now I have the ability to use a primary or secondary member. Let's start with the primary. The path segment member allows us to select sketches. In 2020, we have a new option called merge tangent members. This allows for tangent sketches to create a single member instead of two. You'll notice that under each one of these features, we now have a new property called split member. This will allow us to split members as they're being created. Let's begin by using the point length member. 2020 gives us three new end conditions, point, up to point, and up to plane. To begin this jet, I'll select up to plane. All I have to do is select the points in my sketch that I want to start the members from. I'll select the weldment profile to begin this structure. In the end condition, all I have to do is select the plane I want those members to go up to, and I can also select the direction in which they extrude. I'll pin the property manager so I can keep on adding these features. Next. Let's look at the up to point end condition. Here I can have multiple selections of endpoints that I want to join up to the up to point condition. In the point to point end condition, I can choose the chain button so I can consecutively select the endpoints where I want the weldments to go to. For the top of the shed, I'll use a secondary member support plane. Here, I'll also use the chain option to simplify my selection of the members that will intersect the plane on top. To make the vertical supports on the structure, I'll select these members and choose the primary right plane and change the weldment profile on this feature. I'll use the between point members to add one vertical member on the far side of the shed and use the length ratio to be half weight on the middle of each. To add the remaining horizontal support members, I'll use the chain option, select the plane where to add those members, and make my selection. To split the members, I'll want to select each one of them individually Check the split member option. I can either split them by using a dimension instances, but in this case, I'll utilize a reference, meaning an existing member. When I click the accept button, we'll automatically go into the corner management environment. Here, I'll start by selecting every single simple corner to be made by a contact plane trim. But I'll look up close at this particular member. Once selected individually, I have the option to use either a contact plane trim or a full contact planar trim. In 2020, the trim tool now has the option to be automatic or user defined. In this case, me selecting the bottom face of this member achieves the same as an automatic selection. Let's go ahead and take a look at the complex corners where we can see the real potential of this new user defined feature. If we look at this corner, 
Let's just take a quick look and set it up correctly. We actually want this member to be cut by the two, by the two top members. So let's go ahead and bring it down to a planar trim. And instead of choosing the uh, first contact planar, let's have it do a full contact. Our corners of interest are going to be very complex ones, such as this one. When we come in, due to the structure in which we created this, the trim tool member is automatically defined. To avoid necessary work during manufacturing, we want the center member to have a simple cut. We'll move these two diagonal members down onto the planar trim and we'll choose user defined. Here I can select the planes that will control how to cut these two complex members. By selecting this, I very quickly made sure that these parts will be easily manufacturable on the shop floor. Let's go ahead and take a look at another complex corner. In this case, we want this member to stay whole, so let's actually use it as the trim tool. We want the diagonal member to be cut using the other member's existing faces. Under user define, I can select these two faces, which will make that diagonal member very easy to manufacture as well. I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the corner treatments. Once I'm finished with the corner treatments, we can see how beneficial it is to have the new tool of user-defined trims. This allows us to have very complex cuts very simply. Now let's go ahead and create the second part of this shed. I'll just make a copy of the front plane and offset it by six feet so we can use it for a mirror feature. Now in 2020, under mirror and pattern, when we select the bodies to mirror, we'll see a new option for structure systems. By using this new selection box, the resulting mirrored body will keep the structure system intelligence so we can go back to the structure system environment and then create a new set of secondary or primary members using the mirrored body as reference. I'll use the between points member and the length ratio to create the rest of the connections between these two sheds. Now I just have to delete one of the bodies on the outside of the shed so we can have an entrance. And we're done. Here you see how easily we were able to create this complicated structure with nothing but two sketches, one axis and two original planes. This has been Eric Vega with GoEngineer. Thanks for watching this What's New Structure Systems 2020.